Once you've installed M Drama via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions, as well as your effects, and in your titles. If you skim over any of these, they're going to give you a real-time preview in your canvas. So as you can see here, we have some add-ons. And then as we scroll down, we have multiple backgrounds. Some of my favorite things in this plugin are the burning sheets and burning edges that we will go over in a minute. They're really cool. We have multiple camera movements. We have a ton of overlay effects, as you can see here, aberration, vignette, we've got some ash. Again, we've got some more of these burning edges, uh, flashing, fiery flashes, just a ton of cool stuff. And then we have a lot of typography presets, such as credits, lower thirds, and multiple titles. So to apply any of these, simply click and drag on top of the clip that you would like to make a change on. So with this one, we can grab this censoring, for example. We will drop this in, and then you can see that you're immediately presented with some on-screen controls. So this control here is going to be your global control, as well as your rotation and your frame around this. And then we also have our control here for our frame height and our frame width. So let's say we wanted to maybe just do some kind of a darkness over the eyes there. Could do so here. And then of course over in our inspector, we have additional published parameters along with the blur that we can toggle on and off, the mix of that blur, the solid and the opacity, and you can change the color if you'd like as well. So continuing down, again, we've got a lot of these options here. So we have multiple backgrounds. So what I would actually like to do is bring in this folder and I'll just drop this in so that you can see that we've got this really cool folder as a background that kind of opens up right there. And again, we have an on-screen control for position, scale, and rotation. What's also cool about this is you can see that there is a background beneath as well of this sort of wood texture here. Over in our inspector, we have all of the additional parameters. We have pages, shadows, we have a uh, transparent page if you can, wanted to toggle that on and off, and a vignette. And then of course, if you wanted to on this, you could add some sort of a title if you'd like. So why don't we bring that title in? We can let that folder animate in. And then we would have a title here and we can do our quick scaling and position, stuff like that. Very cool. Then we have these additional parameters and this is that blur that you can see there on the edge. So if we wanted to add a little bit of blur there, maybe a little bit of blur on the edge over here. And then over in our inspector, of course, we would be able to change those texts and additional parameters here. But let's take a look at how that looks really quick opens up and then there it is all right continuing down again that was some of our backgrounds uh this one's cool you can add some titles text and stuff in there if you would like uh we now have movements uh multiple movements i really like this chaotic zoom here it's really really fun so i'm just going to drag that in on top of the clip and then you can see that that just kind of zooms in really fast and it's got this crazy shake and then zooms right back out. Of course, that camera is going to move wherever on the scene that you kind of position that to. So if you wanted to do something like this, and then it's going to just push over, there you go. There's that shake, and then it comes back. So what's really fun about this is I would like to maybe add um, a title underneath there, something uh, we'll just use, why don't we just use this one as an example since it's got a little bit of a darker color and I'm going to add that title beneath my chaotic zoom. Use my on-screen control here, bring it down. And then you can see that that is animating that title as well alongside. So really cool. It's got the cool motion blur. 
So a lot of fun ways that you can use this plugin. A lot of this plugin is going to be found in your overlay effects. So you see that we've got this aberration vignette. We have this ash going on. We have a sort of blurring vignette. We've got these burning edges. But on this shot specifically of me drinking some water, we used this video slide. So you can see it does a little bit of this animation. It's really neat. We have this on screen control so you can move that around if you'd like and zoom in and out. And then we also have our mask scale so we can mask that however we would like. So if we wanted it to be that full screen, you can do so there. But there we go, something like that. So it just kind of animates, boom. And then again, there's a lot of typography, a lot going on. So if you wanted to do something along those lines, and then just add a title or something like that on top. They're going to work really well together. And of course you can do something like this. We could bring those off screen lights in here that is got sort of like a police light look going on. Maybe it's outside the window or something like that. So, so many, so many neat overlay effects that all work really well with this. I can show you a few more of these. So we have this sort of reflex thing going on, and this is going to be this really cool, unique tool right here. So just use this off screen, con on screen control here, and we could do like a little bit of blurring on this side. If you're wanting to create something that you can use to, again, add a title or something like that over here, you can adjust the effect hue if you would like. You can affect the saturation. So you could do something like this, make it black and white. We could then also add some sparks in from our overlay effects. So you can see that we've got some sparks coming in as well, maybe coming off of the flame there. If we wanted to change the hue of those sparks so that they match a little bit better to that sort of yellow color can do so there we can do our sparks size I mean number of sparks like you can do all kinds of really great things with these tools now I also talked about the burning edges which is one of my favorite overlay effects so with this you can see this burning edges here and they're of course coming in on the side I'm gonna turn my sparks down a little bit I think the size and the number can come down there we go. So we've got these burning edges. So check this on screen control out. As you can see, as you move that around, you can really designate where you want those edges to be burning from. So let's say that we wanted those edges are burning away and it's showing that reflex effect that we had over here, something like that. You can bring that in over on that side with your on screen control. And then that's just burning away like that flame is burning that edge away. My absolute favorite part of this plugin is going to be those burning edges. And yes, you have the on-screen control, but you also have a ton of adjustable parameters for this to make it awesome. Uh, you can set a keyframe if you'd like on your burn position and you can have that burn away slower or faster or whatever you would like. But I just think that's super, super cool. All right, for this next bit, I wanted to show you just really quickly how the double exposure works. So as you can see here on this double exposure title, I'm gonna bring that down and you see we have this drop zone here. I'm going to populate this drop zone with the fake grenade that we have here in our studio. So I'm gonna click on my drop zone well, and then I'm just going to add that grenade in apply that clip and then you can see that it's already starting to do a little bit of work but we do need to come over into our inspector and we need to mess with these exposure modes so that you can see the different things that you can get out of that so if you can see our exposure mode is light all of that white went away or we can change it to dark and then that dark is bringing that in and then you can just fine tune this exposure threshold you can fine tune your smoothness there, your edge blur, and you can do a lot of things to bring that exposure 
right where it needs to be so that you can uh, just kind of show off that clip beneath. And then you can come down here and you can scale that mask up if you want. You can move it around however you'd like. Or if I wanted that to be centered, but I want a different section of my footage beneath, I can just go ahead and use my transform tool and I can move that footage beneath and then it will work and, and it'll move around underneath my mask there. So let's say I wanted it to be maybe something more like this, like the edge of that thing is showing the next little bit of that footage. Well, there you go. I'm gonna turn off my animations in and out really quickly just so you can see how that is looking. Really, really neat, just showing that clip beneath. So the double exposure tool in here is is pretty awesome. So I would also like to show these effects. So I'm actually going to highlight these and delete these so that I can use these two clips here on this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this clip on top of our other clip here. And then over in my effects, we have a burning frame that you can see if we just drop that on, it's just going to reveal that. And it works the same way with our on-screen control. So you can see there that we've got some sort of burning going on and we could bring that over if we wanted. And then we're sort of revealing that. We could change our burn color to something that's more in line with the uh, with the clips that we have in here. So something about like that. Really cool. Just burning away. We also have the torn paper effect. So you can see there we have the same thing, some on-screen controls where we can move that footage over that it's on. We can move the paper rip there, however we see fit to work with our composition. And our cracked glass works the same way that our paper rip works. So something along those lines and we've got that cracked glass. So let's say that we wanted this on the other side here. We would just turn our crack and then move our footage over. And there you go. We've got that cracked glass and that's going to animate everything in. So it just kind of pushes that video over to the side on the side of that crack. And the last thing to talk about will be the transitions. As you can see here, we have uh, 11 different transitions. We have a blur dissolve. We have another burn that will transition right into our next scene. We have a cut to blur. We've got this dark flash. One of my favorites is gonna be, uh, there's a silhouette in here, but we've got darkening, uh, a flame. We've got photos that are gonna bring in some drop zone elements. And then we've got this silhouette shade, which I thought was super cool. So again, just apply like any other transition, just click and drag in between two clips. And then it's going to transition. Now that silhouette's pretty fast. So if I wanted to make it a little bit longer, I can just drag those handles out. And there we go. He's just going right across. And there are some different adjustable parameters over here, like your animation direction, your footage movement strength, the color, the color of the silhouette, and the background opacity. All right, and that is about it for me. Thank you for checking out this quick tutorial on M-Drama, now available from motionvfx.com. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.